no dogs, no shadowed nuts, no entering after 8 o'clock. There's quite a few rules on this beach and there's also quite a good reason for it. Uh, we have made it to Istusu beach which is also known as a turtle beach and uh, it's one of the main uh, breeding grounds for loggerhead uh, turtles which in this part of the world are known as carreta carreta. This beach is a really good example of uh, if we want to keep something clean then we can if there's big enough reason. I'd say it's one of the cleanest beaches we've seen so far and there's also people constantly cleaning it and uh, trying to get rid of everything that would uh, put turtles in danger. It's uh, surrounded by uh, two like mountain ranges and it creates its own valley. So the ocean is just behind me over there and on the other side there's a uh, wetland. Just what a beautiful beach it is. It's so clean. It's fine sand, nothing else on the bottom. No rocks. Wonderful beach. Wonderful beach. And just behind the beach frontier, there's a uh, turtle rescue and research center. And We'll try to give them a visit and show you what's going on over there. Those models here, they just show how small the turtles are when, when they first hatch. And we saw those cages on the beach and that's, that's why they have put, put there under the cage. There are barrows filled with turtle eggs. That's quite awesome. Uh, volunteers have put out nest, ca nest cages to protect the eggs. There's quite a few of those cages all along the beach. And this here is the turtle hospital part. So off season when there's no hatchlings they most of the time deal with uh, injured turtles they bring them in here and uh, some of them are given surgery and they just are given the time to heal and then released back into the nature Italian has uh, quite a different feel compared to the other tourist towns we have uh, been to and uh, one of the reasons is that uh, the Turtle Beach, Istusu Beach is just down the river from here and since the beach is there 
no one is allowed to build higher than three, uh, two or three stories. I'm not sure which one it is. So there's no sky skyscrapers, no big hotels, and it still has this small town feel to it. And of course the river as well. When a town has a river running through it, it just lightens up the whole place. And here it's, it's the boats, the view behind me. It gives a little spark to the whole town experience. A historical landmark that uh, makes Dalian quite famous I mean, in the whole world lays straight over there on that, that cliffside. These are uh, tombs from uh, Lycian Kingdom. So they were made about 400 before, before Christ and still to this day on the other side of the, of the river they give such a different feeling and an atmosphere to the, to the town. Today is quite of a special day. We're going on a road trip with uh, Joe and Samantha, who are our hosts here in uh, Dalian. And we have just jumped on this little cute ferry. city of Kaunas. It's just on the other side of the river from Dalian where we're staying and it, those ruins here they're they're really gorgeous really well preserved like the amphitheater in here once upon a time it held 5,000 people Crazy, we've seen over 10 donkeys over here. The story with the wild donkeys is that Turkish government started giving farmers subsidies for tractors, and then the yeah. farmers got their tractors and they shooed away all of their donkeys, and now they're just like chilling around. And it turns out they're also chilling around on archaeological sites. We have made it to Lake uh, Gürcegis with our little uh, tour around Dalian and in here we actually have mud baths and uh, hot pools so we'll go, uh, I'm not even sure how to say it but we're just gonna go and play in a mud Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the goal we stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My home I look for the things I've 
and once the mud has dried it's done its job your skin should be all good now and it's time to wash it off Show me where the Indian goes Honest they don't I should be the last to know All in this I stand alone Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Today we're just seeing a total new side to Turkey. Yeah, it's different, we love it, and Mina's gonna show you how it looks like. <laughs> the expat community here in Dali and it's so strong and it's so nice to go around with Joe and Samantha that you see that they know half of the town they have been living here for over 15 years so but it's just a totally different experience to get back the life I used to Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't Like always it's it's time for us to move on and I just want to say once once more thank you so so much Samantha and Joe for showing us this side of Turkey We are on top of the world Top of the world. <sighs> and down there it is, the Turtle Beach. What an amazing place to spend the night. Just. <sighs> but that's gonna be it for this time. And um, we will see you back on the channel Thursday. Bye, guys. See you on Thursday.